Welcome to another episode of Burn Peak Express. And this week, we're talking about the pups. A lot of you have been seeing Oscar in recent videos. You've been asking me a lot of questions about him. Most of you already know little buddy over here, Drama. A few people have asked me, why did you get another dog? The question is, why did it take me so long? Amy has been asking for us to get another dog for, I guess, I don't know, seven years now. And you say no every time, and you say yes once, and you have one of these guys. Oscar is a French Bulldog puppy. For that reason, he acts like a Frenchie, and I'll show you what that means. Now, both of these guys being French Bulldogs, they're just not that sporting in general. Like, they're never gonna play fetch, they're never gonna be trail dogs. Nobody really gets a Frenchie for that. You get a Frenchie to sit on the couch, just kind of be a family member that you have to take care of. So, Drama was actually a rescue. Amy had Drama before we even met, and his name was Oscar. She renamed him Drama. So when we were trying to think of a name for Oscar, we said, well, let's name him after Drama and we'll call him Oscar. So it's, it's funny how it's come full circle. The thing that everybody loves about Drama is how chill he is. Oscar is not chill. He's not chill whatsoever. Uh, he does his own thing, he's going crazy. I don't know if that's because he's a puppy or just because that's his personality, time will tell. And I've heard from other Frenchie owners that these are just typical characteristics of Frenchies, but they love being under blankets, they love cuddling, they need attention at all times. They're very stubborn. Come on, Oscar, let's go! Come on! Let's see if dra drama! Come here, buddy. They don't listen to anything. They're very hard to train. Sit, no. Sit, sit. Amy's usually the one doing the training. So Oscar's currently nine pounds. He's supposed to get to be like 22 pounds, but Drama's supposed to get to be 22 pounds too. He's like 35 or something like that. Drama's like the biggest Frenchie ever. One thing that's really funny is mealtime. So when we feed him, I give Drama part dry food and part wet food, and then we also mix water into it so he doesn't get dehydrated. Usually Amy does all this. She's a good pup mom. Hey. No, nope, that's Drama's food. We put Drama in the pantry, and we put up this baby gate, and then Oscar eats, and then he finishes in 15 seconds. And then he immediately runs over to the gate to see if he can get to Drama's food. And because Drama's a big softy, he'll just let him eat his food. We kind of have this gate up for Drama's protection so that he can eat in peace. Drama is now almost done. He's just been devastated sitting here for like 10 minutes. So now we're gonna let him out. And he sprints in there to lick Drama's bowl and whatever is in there. So of course, Drama licked this thing clean, but he's gonna lick it anyway. So this is where we usually go pee pee. Pretty soon I'm gonna have to start mowing the lawn. It's getting to be that time of year, but they got plenty of work to do killing the lawn. You're supposed to go pee pee. You know what the worst part is? The second I bring him back in the garage, he's gonna go to one of those black mats and he's gonna pee on it. Oh, come on, I just, we just took you out there and you wanted to lay in the grass. He's just peeing and pooping everywhere. Oh, I can't even show you what's happening now. We can barely clean these up as fast as he can make them. Never ends. Anywhere you can pee, he pees. He hasn't yet figured out that you shouldn't go inside and it's just gonna take time. Now that it's getting nicer out and it's spring, Drama and Oscar just love sitting outside in the sun. But when I have the garage doors open and we're working in here, either filming something or editing, there's a way that I can actually allow them to enjoy the outside without worrying about Oscar running off into the distance. So we leave this bay open and we have this thing, it's called a super yard or a baby yard. We set it up like a little fenced in yard that's attached to the garage. Now, seems like a really simple procedure, but it's not. And I'll show you why. So we'll put Oscar in the super yard. Already you can see he's trying to figure out a way out of the super yard. So basically he works his way in here and he eventually pushes the gate out. Uh, and as he gets bigger, that's only gonna get easier. So I have this big brass nut right here. That gets pushed against here and he cannot move that. And I found that this will keep him in. When he's not peeing and pooping in the garage, he is playing with stuff. He is, he's trying to escape from the garage. I have to make sure all the electrical cords are tied up. I gotta make sure that, that nothing dangerous is on the ground. He can make a lot of trouble. One thing that we've been trying to teach Oscar not to do is not to bite. He does a lot of biting. Hey, pop hold. 
So we restrain him from playing. It's about 20 seconds. Yeah, you don't like that, I know. But you bit my arm. See, he's making whine noises. He doesn't like it. Okay, now you go back to playing. That's kind of normal with puppies. He's not at the age where we can truly teach him anything, but honestly, he's starting to learn. One of the things he loves to do in the garage is eat these mats. He doesn't eat them, he just pokes holes in them with his little teeth. So he'll grab onto one of these pieces on the edge. He'll start pulling on it until it comes off. And at first, I tried to stop him from it. And at a certain point, it's like, I have to get work done and I have to let him do what he's gonna do. Maybe we can put him in timeout. Just firmly hold him so that he cannot play. Then we put him back down. And look, he goes and does something else. He would never chew this again. That would never happen. Now you do good puppy stuff, like watch. This, this puppy toy. That's a puppy toy, it's cool. You can play with it all you want. That's Oscar's thing is if it's if it's an actual dog toy, he has no interest in it. So it has to be a non-dog toy. We got this hat free with something, and so that's an Oscar toy. This we bought for Oscar to chew. He wants nothing to do with it. Let's get him to play. Come on, guys, let's go! Get it, drums! Get it, drums! So Drama's so gentle that he never truly puts him in his place. What we're hoping, Drama is now 11, and he's still got plenty of energy left with him. He wrestles with Oscar, they battle all day, but we're hoping that he can instill some of his behavior into Oscar, some of his temperament. I don't know if that's the way it works with dogs, whether they can pass on skills and, and learn things, but Drama has just about the perfect temperament that I would want in a pet dog. And so, yeah, we're hoping that he shows Oscar the way. You can start to tell Drama's had enough because he's kind of running away from him and he still wants to play. So we'll put Drama out here so that he can go hang out with mommy. All right, Oskies, let's see how much energy we can get out of you. If we don't play him enough and he won't sleep through the night. I always feel like we have to be careful when playing tug of war with him because he'll just latch onto things and, and hold it. And I could literally just start swinging him around my head right now and he would stay latched on. And that probably wouldn't be very good for his little skeleton. So we're playing tug of war with him, but we're being as gentle as we can because he's just a little pup. He doesn't know his own strength. He looks like he's gonna fall asleep any minute. So he really likes his crate. We leave his crate open all day. It's a place he can be safe. It's a place he can go to sleep. And that's really important because Frenchies get tons of separation anxiety. So if they have a place they really feel safe, it's, it's good. So I said he was getting tired. He went in there, he settled down, and now we have to have quiet time so that we can have quiet time. So now that Oscar's asleep, Drama's really excited because he gets to hang out with his parents without little animal messing with everything. That's what he likes. Come on, Gramps. Come on, Gramps. So now I can sit down and write a script or something on my phone and actually get a little work done. And Drama gets some time away from the little rascal. Okay, it's nighttime, it's bedtime for Oscar, so I'm taking him out for one more pee-pee. And the nighttime pee-pees are always a little bit scary because little guy is so small he could get <laughs> ambushed by an owl, so stand right over him. So we come over here, we've got these motion lights. He usually knows what to do. Good boy. All right, let's go right, let's go right inside. Here, there you go. Hiding under the freaking bushes. So now we'll take him inside, safe from the owls. Although I think he just passed nine pounds. I don't know what the limit of what owls get is. Sleep, productivity, they all just get thrown in the garbage when you have some little puppers. He knows where to go. So if you're thinking about getting a Frenchie, you really have to know what you're in for. We knew what we were in for with Oscar, and I can already tell he wants to be next to somebody at all times, he wants to be cuddling at all times, and if he's playing, it's only gonna be a matter of time before he wants your attention again. So you are watching Berm Peak Express. This is sort of an accessory to the main channel, Sets Bike Hacks. I hope you enjoyed watching our pups go pee pee and poo poo for 10 minutes straight. Uh, if you enjoyed it, leave a like, subscribe, and thanks for riding with me today. I'll see you next time. Come on, buddies. Come on. Hey, buddies, come on. Come on. B-roll. Come on. Perfect.